Hello, I hope you're having a great day. So it's the dead of winter, there's not much to report, but I was going through all of my videos on Snapdragons today. And as many of you know, it's not time for me to start Snapdragons yet. I'm in zone five in Iowa. But many of you might know that in 2022, I did an entire video series, A Day in the Life of a Flower Farmer, where I tried to record every day and what I was doing on the flower farm. So what I've done is I have went through that year and I've picked out some of the most important dates and the biggest things that happened with Snapdragons. And I'm just doing a series from seed to bouquets. How did my Snapdragons do? I thought maybe everybody would enjoy it these gloomy winter days. Some of you are lucky enough that it's getting close to planting outside, but in zone five, we're not quite there yet. Probably a couple of months off. But anyway, I hope you all enjoy this little story of how my Snapdragons did last year. Five gallon bucket of snapdragons. Ooh, look at these beauties. Getting ready to cut all of these snapdragons. 85 beautiful snapdragons. I used this longer bucket and it doesn't fit as many, so I only got half of my row done. So I'm gonna go get another bucket and finish my row. I ended up with 152 snapdragons total. Maybe they'll just keep going. Do have a few that the bottom ones need taken off, but not a big deal. But man, I think those just look really pretty still. And those are the Snapdragons that I took out of the cooler after being in the cooler for 20 days. And I did them over seven days ago. I put them in these vases. So these are seven day old vases and I've never cut them and put new flower food in them. So that's it. Snapdragons are one of my top five favorites. They last the longest. They look gorgeous in bouquets. They just add a ton to it. And they did really well for me. I was happy with them. I know I could get bigger and better at spikes. I could probably maybe fertilize more and do different things. But right now in zone five for fresh cut flowers right out of the field, I think I'm doing all right. I hope you all have great luck with your snapdragons this year if you're growing them. I hope you have great luck with your gardens if you're not, and I hope you have a great day.